Hi there, and welcome to another video. Zorin OS 16 Lite has just been released and styles itself as friendly to both Linux newcomers and older computers, so let's dive in and take a look. Zorin OS Lite has Ubuntu LTS underpinnings and comes with the XFCE desktop to go easy on resources. Let's spin up a Linux kernel-based virtual machine and start the installation. As you can see, we are booting our KVM. It does a quick uh, media check, just like Ubuntu LTS. No errors found, that is a good sign. Zorin. Okay, our live environment's coming up. And uh, we should be greeted with the uh, choice of trying or installing. So let's do trying. And there we are. Let's fix the display resolution. Okay, that's done. Let's Increase the size of the screen elements a little bit by adjusting the DPI dots per inch to 120. And yeah, it's a little better. Let's go ahead and click on the installer, which is Ubuntu Ubiquity. So we'll click on continue. English US is good. Download updates while installing. Third party is good. Oh, don't participate in the census. So this is an opt-out, not an opt-in that I would recommend. So count the number of users anonymously. Let's see what that means. So it's a census. So Zoran it sends it phones home basically with the number of users, etc. Um, this is some of the examples it sends. You may disable these pings by don't participate, which we just did, or you can also sudo apt remove that package. And here's some more legalese on what they do with our personal information and third parties. Yeah, yuck, not interested in that. So let's not participate here. Let's continue. So you got a choice of erase disk, disk and install or something else. And the advanced features are LVM encryption experimental ZFS, which is RAM heavy. So we'll skip that today. We'll just do the default install. So you have two partitions, ESP and the ext4 root partition. Looks good. Um, yep, let's proceed. The time zone is correct, Los Angeles, Pacific time. Hi, my name is Steven. I'll call this computer my PC1. Give myself a decent password and enter it the second time. Password login is good. We're not using Active Directory today. So let's let it install. This is heavily dependent on your internet connection, obviously, as to how quickly this goes. Um, this video, of course, is heavily edited uh, to help speed things up and prevent uh, too much boredom for our audience today. And uh, looks like. Uh, Ubiquity is finished, so we'll restart now. We'll remove the virtual ISO and uh, reboot. So there we are. There's LightDM, looks like to me. Uh, we'll log in. And we've got a nice welcome screen here. So let's do the same thing again. Let's fix the screen resolution. Keep this configuration and we'll adjust the screen element size with the uh, dots per inch setting here under fonts. 120. There we go. Let's go ahead and start the tour. So it invites us to open the menu. Under accessories, we have the following. Everything looks pretty standard to me under games. We have some simple free games here. And the graphics, got some viewers, LibreOffice Draw. 
internet, we've got the browser, Firefox, Remina, Remote Desktop, and Thunderbird Mail. It's a good basic setup there. For multimedia, we have the usual suspects here. Um, your Office, again, we've got LibreOffice. Let me launch that and check the version number. 7.2.3.2, fairly fresh. Okay. And under accessories, pretty much the standard XFCE accessories that you see. Under system, also the same, including tour, which is the program we're running right now, we're going through right now. Okay. So let's click next. So choose your desktop look with Zorin appearance. Let's launch it. So we've got a couple of layouts available here. We've got this layout and we've got the tabbed open windows or open software layout. You can get more desktop layouts like the following if you upgrade to Zorin OS Pro Lite. So for Pro, unleash your computer. So for $39 US dollars equivalent, whatever your currency is, you get premium desktop layouts like Mac, Windows 11, Windows Classic, and Ubuntu, plus the standard Windows, Windows List, Touch, and GNOME Shell desktop layouts. Uh, professional grade Creative Suite, so that's kind of like uh, Kdn Live, uh, Blender, uh, Inkscape, uh, the Zernal++ app. All these are available for free in your current uh, Linux distribution, so there's nothing really proprietary here. Um, but yeah, for $39 you get uh, also some uh, new artwork. And also Zorin installation support. So if you have any questions or queries, um, you can buy installation support for one computer from the uh, Zorin team. So they claim to give back your privacy and freedom. Well, um, why pay for Zorin OS? OS um, support the uh, project, help Linux thrive. It's an independent company. Um, helps you unleash the full potential of your computer. Okay, that is, are some lofty claims. So they claim to contribute more upstream. Uh, keep Zorn OS free and privacy respecting. Hmm. Okay, well the telemetry kind of soured my palate for a bit here. But let's move on. So under theme, we have a choice of different accent colors and also light and dark theming and hybrid, depending on if it's day or night. Nothing under applications. You got the usual suspects, I think, a on high contrast, icons, you've got high color and high contrast, and window manager, you have certain themes that are pretty much available and freely available on the Linux interwebs. So nothing proprietary yet. Icons on a desktop, you can turn all those on. Fonts, they use the main is Inter, which is also freely available to all Linux distribution, and JetBrains Mono Regular for the mono spaced. Speed may be limited in a virtual machine. Well, this is a kernel VM and is maximum speed, as you can see. Plenty fast to run. Let's launch software. And uh, let's go shopping. So this, oh, flat pack metadata for Zorin OS. So yeah, this is the Ubuntu software program. Yep. This is Ubuntu LTS, what you get. Let's see what's uh, installed. So these are all the things that are installed. Nothing surprising here. Under add-ons, we have a bunch of themes that Zorn pre-installs. Oh yes, and it's a flat pack. Hmm. It's an interesting choice to use flat packs for themes. I haven't seen that before. Very interesting. 
it claims it's up to date. Let's check one more time. Yep, it says it's up to date. Okay. Uh, next, that's it. We hope that you enjoy Zorin OS. Okay. Well, there's software updater. Looks like it does have some updates available. Um, so Zorin OS base. Yeah, this is Ubuntu. This is Ubuntu LTS. These are the standard Ubuntu updates. As far as I can tell, unless you guys see something else, this is all standard Ubuntu LTS updates. So let's, let's do that. Let's update the system before we continue. Software on this computer is up to date. All right, we'll take its word for it. Let's launch the XFCE terminal here and take a closer look at what we have. So sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade dash y just to make sure we're, we are indeed up to date. Oh, it found two more packages to upgrade or four, I don't know. So a couple more packages, a couple more stragglers. Okay. Let's sudo apt remove the spyware zorin os census as they told us to do, and it looks like it's already not installed, so they did honor our request earlier during the Ubiquity installation. So let's sudo apt install NeoFetch, let it do its thing, and uh, let's clear the terminal and run NeoFetch. So we're running a 5.11 generic kernel. Bunch of D packages and 12 flat packs. We've got Zorin theming going on here. And, um, ooh, we've got 1.2 gigabytes of memory used. Or 1.1, coin to free dash H. That is pretty not light. Could be the flat packs. Let's take a look at the LSB release file. We've got Basically, instead of Ubuntu, we've got Zorin here. So they've got their branding in place. Let's look at the file system table. We've got the root uh, ext4 partition and uh, the swap file. Let's take a look and see how big that is. Two gigabytes it assigned for an eight gigabyte machine. All right. Okay, so pretty much standard Ubuntu. Let's look and see what services are running. Let's see what's going on here. Um, looking for anything unusual, anything not Ubuntu-like. So far I'm seeing everything standard Ubuntu. Um, oh, what is this? Zorn Agent GeoClue 2. Is that a geolocation? program what's it do i don't know but i don't like it uh, there's no reason in my opinion to run a geolocation service on the machine without telling me first might as well run windows then if, if they're going to do that so that not cool sorry not cool but everything else here looks pretty on the up and up Let's see if it's a service. sudo system ctl status zorin, what, what's it called again? Zorin agent geoclue two. No, it's not a service. So they're hiding it a little bit, hmm? Yeah, this is, I'm a little disappointed here. I may be wrong guys, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Happy to hear it. So yeah, it's running this program, GeoClue2-Zorin. And also Zorin Menu Lite. I'll give them Zorin Menu. So let's kill that process. I don't want to send my location to Zorin. There's no need to have that. All right. This looks like we killed it. Yeah, a little disappointed here, folks. Um, okay, let's close this terminal, 
Let's look at the settings here. So these are all standard XFCE settings, except the Zorn appearance. We've seen this already, so we don't have to go through that again. Everything else looks pretty standard. Let's look at additional drivers. Do, does Zorin provide? This is just rebadged Ubuntu. Rebadging and retheming. That's what I'm seeing so far here. Um, yeah, a bunch of PPAs and some packages here that we've already agreed to. Don't know. Um, we trust this. It's up to you, I guess. Your updates. So we have a support until April of 2025, which is identical to Ubuntu LTS, so nothing new here. No additional drivers available. Let me open the terminal again. Let me take a look at the kernel they're using. Oh, they're just using the Ubuntu generic kernel. Ubuntu LTS. Nothing different. So I don't, I don't see any evidence of them re recompiling anything or any of that. So no special drivers, I think. Um, let's check the firewall configuration. Yep, they're using, just like Ubuntu, using the uncomplicated firewall. All right, on-screen on keyboard, I think, is the onboard settings thing. Okay, nothing unusual here. But you won't get already with Ubuntu. Let me open the uh, terminal one more time and list the modules that we're running here. So we've got graphics acceleration for our KVM. We've got full performance from our KVM. I'm looking here through anything Zorin specific that you don't get already with Ubuntu, and I see nothing. So there's no additional hardware support, uh, for this machine at least, that I can detect. All right, maybe it's because it's the free version. I don't know. But you can do the same thing with your Xubuntu or Zubuntu XFCE uh, existing desktop. You can go to xfcelook.org. I would recommend looking at the Koger themes if you'd like to do your own theming. Very easy to do. Just follow the instructions on this website. I think some people even uploaded the Zorin themes. So if you like the Zorin themes, uh, they're also freely available. So you can see all the themes here from Zorin. So yeah, um, so you can Zorin up your existing uh, Linux installation, your XFCE. So yeah, um, that was uh, my quick look here of Zorin OS 16 Lite. Before posting this video, I did check out the Zorin OS launchpad and PPAs, and there are a bunch of Ubuntu packages patched with the Zorin look and feel, mostly. I also looked at their GitHub and did not find any sources for the Census Telemetry app or their GeoClue service. I find this very troubling. I'm sure well, I hope that I missed a bunch of things. Please leave comments below to correct me if I did. What do you recommend for Linux newcomers? Please show your support of this little channel and smash like and subscribe as vigorously as you can so I can keep making these videos. Until next time, be well.